It's a free space. I want that Koopa. No. <laughs> Now you, Lee. Oh, I missed my cue? It's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, uh, just a second. We might want to do a take two because I lost count because I thought you are only going to play yours. Well, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead? Oh, okay. All so right. Next time I play Mr. Switch Hero by myself. Well, actually, I play mine, then you play yours. Okay, it's all good. And it's now time to be... What's that? So, it's from the same quote, but it's a different uh, place. Instead of the long note, you get the opening. Yeah. Right. You can do yours, and then you're gonna hear. Awesome. And we're doing my third game of Wheel of Fortune for the NES, in which at this point, I have won $17,050 in cash. And I'm all for so two for two in bonus round wins. And for this game, I'm being joined by Robin Moore and Lee Deshen. Hello. Start with our first round. The category is going to be a place. Here we go. Give the wheel a good spin. What are we gonna get? Well, 200 bucks. Start with an N. No. So we have to go to Joe. Spin the wheel. Make sure you land on that million dollar wedge. Unfortunately, the million dollar wedge is not available in this game because this is from 1987. Ah, this is back when um, the million dollars is, isn't supposed to be rewarded because everything is very cheap back in the day. Yep. In other words, you can buy anything. Say, for example, during World War II, you can buy ice cream for a for a combination of a nickel and a dime. Yeah. You can buy a can of Coke for just one nickel. That's right. But it wouldn't be until the Nintendo Wii version when the million dollar wedge would be introduced. What's that? Yeah. And on top of that, a single quarter if you want to buy a movie ticket from the, from the movies from the 40s, like the three Caballeros. Oh, yeah. In which I might add, the three Caballeros is a very, very good Disney movie. Combination of animation and live action. And the first uh, Disney movie to have live action overall. That's right, and it took place in South America. And, Me and Mexico. Yep, the Mexico. Mexico. Uh, the voice of Hanjito is a native of Mexico. He didn't provide the speaking voice in the Spanish though. Yeah, I wonder why. But his voice can still be heard when he's singing. Right. So, but, the ironic thing is that he did both the singing and the speaking in the Portuguese dub. The Portuguese dub? Yes. Oh, B. He voiced Panchito in, 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 he voiced Panchito in all the lines in the Portuguese dub. Okay. Because Portuguese is the native language for Brazil.
Because Portuguese is the official language for Brazil. So, so, that, so in that dub, it's the same actor for all lines. Right. But he only did the singing in the Spanish dub. Yes. And that's kind of odd because he should have done all the Spanish lines because since he's a native of Mexico, uh, he could have done all those lines. Yeah. I guess uh, he didn't have time to record all of it because it would be tiring for him. He had to do completely different languages. He did uh, English and then Portuguese, but, but for time constraints, he wasn't. A, he didn't have time to record all the Spanish dialogue, so they got somebody else. Uh huh. And I land on 400. C. Up the road a piece. That's the solution. And that will get me 2100 for the round. That's correct. Not a bad first round. $2,100 a piece. A little bit of a lengthy round because we had a tough puzzle, but I got it nonetheless. Round two is coming up, and what is our category for this round? We're going to be trying to solve a place. Another place. Let's see if this one's any easier. We start with Joe. Lots of places to go. Yes. And he lands on $400. What is he going to get? Call. Well, there are two S's, so a good start there. An I. I don't believe it. You know how many there are? One. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no O. Are ready yet? There are no O's. There are no O's. Three fifty. There is an L, however. U. There is a U, surprisingly enough. Two hundred. Nope, there's no B. My turn. Let's get some money. Yes. Some money. Five hundred. A uh, T. Oh, I got a free spin. All right. They actually changed the rules, so now he has to get a letter, then pick it up. That's Otherwise, correct. You can't make any more spins. That's correct. But back in 1987, if you landed on a free spin, you automatically got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. However, that would change in 1990. Oh no, it's just because of uh, the way they want to, they change the rules or something. Like if you want landed on a prize or a free spin, you had to earn it by correctly calling a letter because if you landed on a prize, they were just giving them away, like pancakes. I guess Merv Griffin wanted to change the rules a little bit. I'm not really sure. Alright, I uh, remember uh, the next time you get one of those uh, 26 letters, and I think I want to play uh, something just so of course, and it's time to solve the puzzle. Sydney, Australia. Beer. Foster's Australian for beer. Oh, I got him. I got away with that. Ouch! No, I didn't. Forty-seven hundred dollars is what I have now. Let's go ahead and play our speed up round because we are running a little bit low on time. So for this round, we're gonna give the wheel a final spin. Has to give a letter to the puzzle five seconds to solve it. Vowels worth nothing. Consonants worth four hundred dollars a piece. We're gonna try to solve a thing, and we'll start things off with Jane. A letter, please. Emotional I. A T. One T. Yeah, five seconds to try to 
Do my best with that. Joe. Nope, sorry, no F. Jane. No, there's no B. R. Yeah, one R. Five seconds, thing, the category. What's that? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna say aftershave. No, it's not it. Joe. Yeah, one W. Go ahead, Lee. <laughs> J in a letter. No, there's no K. L. There's one L, $1,200. I'll solve it. Watermelon. Absolutely. So I won $1,200 that round and $5,900 for the game. So $5,900. Let's get it all added up in two ga three games. I've won $22,950. Now it's time to, time to try to win something else in the bonus round. I've won the car and the motorboat. I'm gonna go for the deluxe kitchen this time. And we're looking to solve a phrase. We need five classics and a vowel. R, S, T, L, and E. Oh, that's it? Okay. Don't look back. That is correct. So I'm three for three in bonus round wins, and in cash I've won $22,950. A fourth game is definitely guaranteed, which I will do in good time. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. We look forward to seeing you all for our next one coming soon. And until then, folks, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And like I always say, I couldn't have said it better myself.